Welcome to the show, everybody. It is Saturday, March 30th, 2019, and it is Gypsy Queen Day. Welcome, everybody. I am Christopher. I am your break host and resident wax cracker. Uh, and off in the distance is Chef LQ, who just, just got done making a big old pan of baklava and just shoved it in the oven just now, just under the wire. Uh, we're, we are doing an impromptu break and bake. <laughs> so I will be getting up from my seat in about 40 minutes to take for a wonderfully delicious pan of uh, baklava out of the oven. So there will be a little bit of an interruption on that there. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? You can find us in different places, uh, crackandwax.com, of course. Also, Twitter, at crackandwax, and facebook.com slash crackandwax. If you are watching us from YouTube, whether live or on the replay, please do us a big favor right now. Hit that thumbs up button. That really helps us with our analytics. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another live break ever again. At the end of the video, if you're watching, on YouTube, please vote in the poll at the top here and let us know what you thought of the break. And then comment below and let us know what you thought the hit of the day was. And, well, I think that's everything. I said, oh, of course, I have to shout out to those who are watching on Periscope, Breakers TV, and on Twitch, of course. Uh, we do have our chat rooms connected to everybody, but for whatever reason, uh, Breakers TV never seems to show up on our chat room. So just want to let you know we're not, you know, avoiding or ignoring you there. Um, but, yeah, here we go. And I turned the music off on accident. There's the music again. There we go. <laughs> Wrong buttonitis is what I call that. All right, let's bring up the chat room and see who's all in the room here. I see we got Scott, who I already said hello to. Ross is in there. Hey, hey, Ross. Good to see you. All sweaty's in there. Uh, he said cack. Not sure why. <laughs> and Popeye is here. Uh, welcome, everybody. Now, I want to let our YouTubers know uh, that we are trying something just a little bit different. And hopefully this will help out the latency issue in our chat response. Now, normally we have a good like 30 second lag between the actual stream and the chat room. What I've done is I've gone in, I've found a setting um, where we will stream at uh, ultra low latency, which means that hopefully the response time between the stream and the chat room should be close to real time. So when we do our games, uh, if they happen to come up, such as Call Your Shot, which is a redemption game, uh, then our YouTubers won't be stuck uh, uh, behind waiting on everyone else. Um, you know, then that's especially like, yeah, lag, big time lag. So um, now I don't know if there is any lag right now for you folks in YouTube, but if there is, I do apologize. Like I said, we we're just trying out this ultra low latency thing uh, today just to see how that goes. If it doesn't work, then we will forego, uh, forego that in future breaks. But uh, why don't we get in on this? This is our 2019 Tops Gypsy Queen Charity Case Break. All breaks uh, for March will be benefiting St. Baldrick's. And after this case break, we will have been able to donate at least $500 to St. Baldrick's this month. And give, your, uh, give yourselves a big round of applause. That is absolutely amazing what you folks are able to help us do uh, in accomplishing that this month. Also today, if you want to, tips are not required, but any tips you may want to send our way will go to St. Baldrick's as well. That is streamlabs.com slash crack and wax. I'm going to quick put that up in the chat room. All right, so those in, your, in the chat room can see the link. If you want to send any kind of tip that is all up to you if you do send a tip any denomination whatever it is a dollar a hundred dollars a thousand dollars whatever you want we're going to send that to st baldrick's as well we'll add that into the 500 dollars that we're sending to them are those skittles in the bowl no i've brought back some m m's these are some chilled peanut butter m m's and uh and of course waxtopia's favorite uh baja blast uh <laughs> just had to have my sugar fix for the weekend so today we're doing Gypsy Queen, as I had mentioned. Uh, we're gonna do our little bit of education as we usually do before we do our break. Bring up the screen view so everyone can see what I'm seeing. So this of course is the sell sheet for Gypsy Queen. We're expecting two autographs per hobby box. Uh, they are on card autos, they are not sticker autos. Uh, they do have some fabulous looking sock relics which are authenticated also with autographs. We're gonna have a whole bunch of different parallels to look out for, including the black and white parallel. Um, the black and white sequentially numbered 50 are hobby only, so we might be able to run into those. There are also going to be some variations to watch out for. The variations include the very difficult to find 4th of July 
Uh, they're one in 1,125 hobby packs, so there's a good chance we won't even see those in our case. There are also the Jackie Robinson Day variations and the Players Weekend variations. The Players Weekend, obviously, are going to be a little bit easier to, uh, to spot. Uh, such as this Mike Trout that's on screen here, you can see they use the player day uh, or player weekend jerseys instead of their traditional home or away or alternate jerseys, making it a lot easier to spot. The Jackie Robinson day, a little bit tougher, but you'll have to just watch for the number 42 on the jerseys. Uh, if they don't show that well, then it may just be, it might look like an action variation, but it's probably gonna be the uh, Jackie Robinson day. Now the 4th of July is gonna be the hardest to spot. If you do happen to come across one, you're really gonna have to look at the logo. It'll have stars and stripes in the logo and it's really tough to see. So we may not see it as we come across it if we do pull one, but as always, if we do happen to come across a, a variation that we don't spot, please feel free to shout it out and uh, we'll make sure that we focus on that uh, when we pull it. All right, so let's quickly throw up the team board so we can see who's got what. We've got uh, PR Nuts, Dame Debbie, Vilma, Kim K, Madglav, Smoltz, Fieldy, Carrie B, Andy J, Old Dirty Boat, Design on Deck, Popeye, Tropical Chick, Turk B, Jason Ginter, Alex O, David H, Grizz, Richie S, uh, Waxtopia, Fixer. Have I missed anybody? Yeah, that's a, a, quite a good turnout for this. Uh, I suppose it's about time to crack that wax. LQ, you have anything to add? Uh, how's your baklava going? Is it for sale? You know what? Speaking of auctions and LQ, I do want to point out that we uh, the auction for her signed LQ trading card just ended. I want to check to see where we ended up with that real quickly before we crack, crack into that. Winning bid, 15 bucks. Going to Collect the Mets. Thank you, Collect the Mets. You just won and uh, the very final autographed literal court card for 15 bucks. Uh, so all proceeds from that charity auction minus fees are going to be, going to be added to the St. Baldrick's thing. Thank uh, you very yeah, awesome. All right, are we ready to crack that wax? Well, you sound super excited. Yes. <laughs> yes. I haven't had as much coffee as you have. And I'm not I am well caffeinated. And yeah. Having sugar, so I'm a little bit <laughs> behind the. Behind you, yeah. Know. All right, so each case of Gypsy Queen contains 10 boxes, 24 packs per box. And of course, we got our case from Blowout Cards. So thank you very much to Blowout Cards for the awesome online breaker discount that we always get from them. Appreciate it. And uh, we usually really like Gypsy Queen every year. Uh, there was one year that I didn't care for it so much where it had the really disgustingly colored backs. They were like pea yellow. Um, <laughs> But everything I've seen online for the digital mock-ups for these have looked incredible, uh, incredible to me, and I really cannot wait oh. to drop those on my M&Ms. <laughs> I really cannot wait to see what these look like in hand. It's just going to be, yeah, right. All right, everybody, it's time to crack that wax. First box of Gypsy Queen of the Year. Two on-card autographs per box. As I mentioned, there should be 24 packs per box. Uh, eight cards per pack. So we've got a little under 2,000 cards to sort. LQ, are you ready? Do you got your sorting hands good to go? You're all lotioned up and moisturized and... No, no you're that not... Would that would not be good for the cards. No oil in the cards. I've got my chrome scratchers off today because we're also going to be finding some chrome cards for the first time in Gypsy Queen. And we could very possibly find a chrome autograph as well. And here are the first chromes of the year. Kyle Schwarber is our first Gypsy Queen card and first Gypsy Queen chrome card. No. Fo uh, followed by Ryan O'Hearn and behind that a gold parallel of Chris Shaw for the Giants. And this is numbered to 50. Four of 50 for the Giants. And these look incredible in chrome. So any of you folks in the chat rooms, whether you're in uh, YouTube or Twitch, Periscope, Breakers TV, have you folks opened any Gypsy Queen or joined any Gypsy Queen breaks yet? Uh, here's our first fortune teller insert. This is Justin Verlander. 
If so, what did you think? Here's what the backs all look like. No stats, just some uh, bio information. No dings. <laughs> yeah, no Don Russ dings on here yet. I'm very glad that Ross is in the room because uh, he's got the eyes and he can help us find any variations that we might miss. Jorge Polanco, of course, we've got our Twins game on in the background. Jake Odorizzi is pitching. We've got an, an indigo of, of Jake Odorizzi. How is, wow, what are the odds of that? <laughs> How about that? Uh, that is numbered 239 of 250 for the Twins. Nice. Morno's in the booth. LQ is happy about that. Oh, that's right. we got to look for the bazooka backs. That's the other one. Yep. Hit a Reese Hoskins 5 of 5 Chrome. Wow. Nice. Fortune Teller of Juan Soto. Nice insert pickup. Good price for a hobby box right now on Gypsy's Queen. You know, I haven't looked in a while. LQ thinks $9 would be a really good price for a box, a <laughs> box of Gypsy Queen. Well, she's not lying. She is not lying. What are they, like $35? Oh, no, gosh. Uh, I would think they're close to somewhere between the $80 and $90 range, I would think. Really? Without looking, I'm not sure. Well, this is, uh, this is a mid to low end product, I would say. Um, so low end would be something like Series 1, opening day. Oh, I was thinking of Oh, she was thinking blasters. The well, blasters are typically twenty bucks. Yeah. All right, so one way to tell if you've got a short print, of course, is the code on the bottom. And both of these cards end in nine three, so I know that I don't have a short print there, but I do have a fortune teller of Chris Bryant. Blank nameplate variations? No, I did not mention those. So yeah, there's also logo swap. Mr. Antoine Odom ninety eight is in the house. Welcome, sir. Good to have you in the chat room. I hope you don't mind we're opening baseball today. <laughs> hey, Anton. Good to have you. Antoine. 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 That is correct. Yeah, and how about Reese Hoskins the other day? Oh, my gosh. Walking Bryce Harper to load the bases and... Hoskins on coils. All right, here's a Jake Lamb, and I gotta say, this is probably a variation. Or is it not? Let me see. 9-3 and 9-3. That is not a variation. Okay. That fooled me. I thought that was a variation. But yeah, there are also some logo swaps. So what do I mean by logo swap is the GQ would be uh, switched out for a uh, graphic of the, uh, the Gypsy herself would be in there instead. So... But yeah, this is just an absolutely gorgeous product. And of course, uh, autographs on card, which means the autographs are really gonna pop on this. What I'm hoping to find, and I got one of those packs where I'm like, oh, there might be something in here. <laughs> what I'm hoping to find is one of those awesome sock relics with the uh, authenticated stickers. I just love pulling stuff like that. Jake Cave. No, nothing in there. Just. Just me being a, an idiot again. So um, this is a 10 box case. 24 packs per box. And I'm kind of going through it. Ah, here we go. We've got Sandy Koufax. And that is a normal base card. But I do believe he has autographs in this set. So, man. Well, we have our fourth member of the Crack and Wax Koufax Club. We have three so far. Dame Debbie was, I believe, the first. Grizz was the second. And I always forget the name of the third person. I feel terrible for that. There's our first autograph. And it's the A's, naturally, uh, Dave Mengden. So it's either the A's or, or it's Dame Debbie that gets the first hit. A's to Nate going to PR Nuts. That's Scott in the chat room. That's that chat room mojo, sir. Congratulations. Very nice. Congratulations. Of. Did I got the hit? Oh, Scott. Scott P. He's one of our newer 
but he's uh, been one of uh, he's had a hot hand. Oh my gosh. Scott basically won the last couple of breaks. <laughs> he is, he is uh, giving Dame Debbie a run for her money. <laughs> yeah. But that's karma, though, too. I think people... See, now Reed started doing that, where he's, you know, spreading a good word about Crack and Wax, and suddenly, boom. Yep, that's, that's exactly how that works. Oh, yeah, that, that'll... Absolutely. So, uh, Mr. Antoine Odom, now, uh, you, he just said he can't wait for Top Scrum to come out, and neither can I. There's Reese Hoskins. That's got to be a variation. If that's not, I'd be awfully surprised. Now, that ended in 9-3, and the base card ends in 9-3. That's not a variation? Are you kidding me? That's the base card? Well, fine. All right. Yeah, I was saying. Yeah, I can't wait for a Topps Chrome to come out either. And and I gotta ask, what do you collect? who do you collect? Oh, logo swap. Okay. All right. So there was a logo swap in here. All right. So let me see. See, I I told you I was gonna miss it. No, I was uh, all sweaty. Oh, there we go. Jose Urania with the logo swap. Good eye. Well done. All right, so he collects that. Well, that that explains why he likes uh, 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 Mr. Hoskins. Phillies, yeah. Oh, there we go. Mike oh. Mike Fultanovich is our second auto, or Fultanovich, I guess, is uh, how you're supposed to pronounce pronounce it. Never stopped you. I know, right? Uh, for the Braves, going to Mad Glav Smoltz. That's his team. I just love the autos on these cards. Now, now some. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's gonna be tough. Uh, so now I, I saw on Twitter where someone was uh, saying that that was a mistake, that little line there. But that is a that is a design element. Now I don't want to get on my graphic designer high horse here, but uh, that is not a mistake. That little line there, if you notice that, that is absolutely a design element. So anyhow, congratulations, Maglav Smoltz. So Phillies, uh, boy, if. If you ever try to get into one of our breaks and you want the Phillies, you have got some competition. Uh, now, you see on the screen, uh, let me get my, you see that where it says Dame Debbie, Phillies? Boy, that is her team. And she, <laughs> she jumps on those. Oh, man, good luck. There is a player's weekend variation and logo swap. So that's a double variation. Eddie Rosario for the Twins. Yeah. Going to Mr. Fixer, who told me earlier today that he's in the middle of uh, Bum F, Wisconsin. So that's Wisconsin. That's just Wisconsin in general. Yeah. Well, we, we can say that. We're from there. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Michael. This is the first Players Weekend variation I've noticed. It's uh, also a logo swap, so that makes it a double variation. Very cool. Yeah, why not? We'll make Michael feel special. Yeah. yeah. Not that special, no. Now, I always got to harass our, our new uh, Wax Crackers that are in the chat room. Uh, now, you've just revealed that you collect the Phillies. Ooh, is this another one? Did we get a, a variation of the White Sox? No, that's a base card. Seriously, that's a base card? That is cool. All right, so you collect the Phillies. Uh, what is your favorite piece in your Phillies collection at this point? Bazooka backs are easy to see, Scott, if you have the cards turned around. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And hey, just a question for uh, you YouTubers. Uh, how was the lag, by the way? There's a fortune teller of Nolan Arnato. Like I mentioned, if it's, uh, if it's kind of disrupting things, I won't use that setting again. Just trying to make this an easier and more fun experience for those if we ever do come across a redemption. Check it out. Speaking of rounded corners, here's a Xander Bogert's tarot card. Tarot of the Diamond. See now, all right, I just quickly got to mention this. For anyone who saw on Twitter, who follows me on Twitter, um, I retweeted a 
preview image that Topps put out of Gypsy Queen, and it made it look like the base cards were rounded like the tarot cards. And I just loved how that looked. Now, can you... I mean, these tarot cards obviously are rounded. Can you imagine what the base cards would look like rounded? I think Gypsy Queen. It makes sense, doesn't it, to round the quarters? My goodness. That would be awesome. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that uh, Gypsy Queen next year should be rounded corners on all the base cards? Yeah. Well, we've got another tarot card in here. That's two in a row. All right. So we've got the Joker. <laughs> Yazio Puig. Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati Reds. I was hoping to pull that card. Mr. Odom says, I was so mad I got top series one and I saw that they didn't have Ralmuto or Segura or Bryce as an updated. Yeah, see, that's the frustrating thing with series one is they start they start that checklist like in the middle of the, the, the previous year's season. And it's... Well, and I'll, and I'll get to you to, to why they don't in just a second. We've got our third tarot card in a row. Wheel of Fortune, Shohei Otani. Whoa, Angels. Nice. nice. Almost Shohei Otani. Nice. All right. Well, that does it for box number one. So the reason why it's difficult for uh, card manufacturers like Topps or Panini to uh, be able to change the teams that quickly, number one, the a lot of these team uh, players don't sign until late into the season. Look at Bryce Harper. He didn't sign with the Phillies until way late. And by then, production probably was almost already done on Series 1. They had to get... But can't they do a supplemental run? You know well, I mean? and that's what Series 2 is for. Well, right, but I mean... That's basically their supplemental run. Well, that's, kind of... that's how they make their money. I... They're smart. I... They are smart. Can you have Cleveland? <laughs> Baseball cards 191 hops in the chat room and just says, "Can I have Cleveland?" You are gonna have to duke it out with uh, uh, Popeye on that one, boy. <laughs> I, and I don't mean the cartoon character; I mean the, uh, Chris Plowman, who calls himself Popeye, which I believe he, no, he is there. He, he may actually be quite as strong as the actual Popeye. Here's our next uh, Chrome pack. Is the bazooka? Is it just pink on the back? Uh, it'll actually say bazooka stuff on the back, like. In advertisement in the back. All right, we've got Will Myers Chrome, Eddie Rosario Chrome, and Dylan Bundy Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas's baseball card collection is here. What's going on, sir? I gotta have a little swig of my Baja Blast. He's not. See, this is why I'm drinking it because he's not here. He's not here to. I extra drink it when he is here, but. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, they're as hard to pull as... Uh, a hit? No. Well, maybe. Are they considered a hit? Wouldn't you think that uh, Bryce Harper's free agent card it would make more sense than putting on an old team? Well, it would It would make total sense. It's just it, it's just uh, down to the logistics of... They've already printed how many cards and packed them all out by the time he got signed. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bummer. But it also makes sense in terms of Tops being able to sell Series 2. Is it beer 30? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't have... Yeah. <laughs> All right, Hank Aaron, which is a... Not a base card. All right, Hank Aaron. You end in 2-3. So that tells me you are a short print of some, uh, some kind. For the Braves. See, sometimes I'm looking for, for things like that. Uh, the average team price was 49 bucks in this break. I think the highest team was around the hundred dollar mark, if I remember correctly. See now in this product, you'll notice that uh, some players are on their new teams. Like CJ Crone, there I just pulled for the Twins is uh, a twin in this set. Nice Jackie Bradley Jr. That's a very cool looking card. Also a base card. Uh, no. Oh, Richie, really? Richie S. Richie, Richie S is not new. Richie Des he is definitely not new. He might act brand new. <laughs> uh, that would be the Atlanta Braves. 
All right, we've got a black and white parallel of Will Myers for the Padres. Padres going to Alex O. This is numbered 3350. Yeah, man, thanks for coming in. Uh, uh, happy to have you here. Drop by anytime, and uh, we will chat with you later. Have a good day, sir. That's uh, Mr. Odom checking out. There's our autograph, Francisco Lindor, just as soon as he leaves. <laughs> On card auto for the Indians. Going to Mr. Popeye. And it is a bazooka back. Number 19. Yeah, as soon as you said that. Number 19 of 25. Wow. Congratulations, Popeye. That is... Uh, my vote so far for hit of the night. Of course, we've got a long way to go. Uh, LQ did also find another bazooka back uh, from an earlier poll. This is Daniel Pastelone, De De Leon for the Cardinals. Very nice. Uh, yes, it does cost money. Oh, that's different than a bazooka back. This is a... Well, what is this then if it's not a bazooka back? What was the other one? This one's a bazooka back. All right. Just my pens. Don't worry about it. Everything's safe. Oh, it's a different bazooka back. It's not different than a bazooka back. Yeah. yeah, why not? Why not? And yes, it does cost money. Um, you have to pay to get in before the break starts. And uh, in a break like this, uh, we charge per team, each team is uh, priced a little bit differently depending on what's on the checklist. So if, let's say one team has like a hundred different players and a bunch of different autographs and they're all desirable players, um, you know, something like the Yankees versus another team that maybe only has 20 people on the checklist and only one undesirable autograph and nothing else, that would be cheaper than that other team of a uh, hundred players and 20 different desirable autographs. Fortune teller of J.D. Martinez. Well, yeah, just keep watching. Yeah, I mean, it's this is part entertainment as well. It's, you know, if you can't get in, at, we'd love to have you sit back and watch and chat and, you know, get involved with the community here. That's, that's awesome. We've got a red parallel of J.T. Riddle for the Marlins. Going to Tropical Chick. That's Kelly T. That's number two of ten. Probably sleeve this one up too. Just a sleeve. That one right there. It's number two of ten, so it's a very short printed card. Red parallel. Deezy, how's it going? Yeah, uh, no two of ones, but yeah, we did pull a Francisco Lindor Bazooka Back Auto, number to 25, uh, just a little bit ago. And another autograph. This is Willie Ademis for the Rays. Don't ever sleep on the Rays. I always say that. Mad Glav Smoltz with another auto. Congratulations, Mad Glav. That's Chris M. Right now I'm really looking for these uh, uh, logo swaps. <laughs> now this is this is a set that kind of get they, they get it a bit more right than other sets where uh, they do have just enough to watch out for, but not an overwhelming amount. So logo swaps, uh, bazooka backs, you know, uh, just a few different type of parallels. Yeah, there are one of ones actually. And I, the Chrome set even has Superfractor one of ones to, to watch, watch out for. And if I remember the or the cell sheet, I think they also they do they have printing plates in this one. I thought they did. Of course, those are one of ones as well. And of course, I want to let's check out my streamer tabs. No, nope. okay. Just wanted to see if anything got updated there. Fortune teller of Jose Altuve.
So two boxes in, and I'm I'm leaning towards that lean door so far as being the the hit of the break. But uh, we could do better than that, maybe, huh? There's uh, the star tarot card, Jose Altuve. What did you? Uh, oh, the black and white parallel. Nice tarot card of Altuve. Oh, there was a no name. No name. All right. And LQ must have already sorted that in. Okay. Don't know. They just said it was a no name in the last pack. There we go. Well spotted, folks. You're not bothering us at all. A uh, couple people. So we've got Ken's cardboard, uh, Ross. Right. Yeah. Ross gets some competition for the high balls and the bridge. So that one can be sleeved as well. Yeah, well. Oh, the, let's see, that would be baseball cards 191. You're no bother at all. As long as you're not, you know, being a jerk, which I don't <laughs> think you're being, you're welcome to be here. Strength, Chris Davis. Got that right. Nice tarot card. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, we try to be. <laughs> the other day, I, I, uh, I gave uh, moderation uh, privileges to some people just because I had a bad feeling about a couple couple people earlier that didn't show up in the chat room. Uh, we've got a Francisco Lindor, Indigo, 109 of 250. Easy says, hi, LQ. Good catch on the no name. Got a new order from a minute ago, and I wonder what that order is. It must have been a high-end a high -end bundle, because it's the only thing left in the shop, unless someone just ordered a hat. Well, we are obviously up in the kitchen is uh LQ. we're doing a little bit of impromptu break and bake as we mentioned got a little baklava in the oven We've also got the twins out in the background what are you folks doing this weekend uh obviously uh, a lot of baseball a lot of uh, basketball going on snowing up in minnesota no <laughs> i don't think so at least at least not where we're at uh fortune teller of aaron judge I'm ready to to, to uh, bring the, the deck furniture out of the shed. Sunny in South Florida. Nice fortune teller of fortune teller fortune teller of Urias. Couple packs left. Yeah, Minnesota today and not too bad. It is uh, almost almost baseball weather. We've got the game on in the background, and I see tons of people with their you know snow hats and you know puffer jackets on, but. Uh, Remember that one game we were at, and uh, it wasn't cold out, but we were up in the nosebleeds, and it was so cold up there. Yeah, ice cold ice cream one. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Final pack: Tarot, Ace of Swords, Bryce Harper, still a national. ATL's finest says in an inception break with Mojo breaks. Got the Braves and Tigers. Man, we we did inception a whole bunch last weekend. We loved it. Well, you weren't around for the inception break. I don't think you saw any of it. But man, we I still have four boxes left, and we're we will load them up eventually. Um, we're not gonna have any breaks next week though, because it is uh, the Twin Cities are hosting the Final Four, and yours truly works uh, in downtown Minneapolis, and my day job requires that I work the Final Four. Uh, and no, I do not work at the stadium. I work somewhere else that requires me to be around. <laughs> well, I'm not supposed to say that, but yes. So I will not be here, so no breaks next week, unfortunately. Unless LQ, you want to take over. Oh, they might actually think that would be a blast. Oh, you mean I get a whole uh, spot in a case for only five bucks? Yeah, really? pretty much, because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Everyone gets a piece of baklava. Uh, Blake Snell, Luis Urias, and Ozzy Albies Chromes. 
I don't have a bot in yet, but I enjoy this community and enjoy watching great cards pull. And I'm down with the CW for donating to other uh, tell others as well as they are from my home state. And we love that you are here. Who's this? That's DZ. Nice. DZ is our two of one guy. Is he the Minnesota one or Wisconsin? <laughs> we both we call him both. We, we, we do call weird Wisconsin home sometimes. Well, well, that's where we were born. I, well, that's where you grew up. I grew up just across the river in Minnesota. I was born in Wisconsin, lived We're there. Both born in the so if anyone wants to uh, find our families, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Actually, our families usually watch us. So yeah. within the last year, I think almost all of them have like, oh, is that what he does? Yeah. But your mom was like creeping on me for like the past. Long years. Yeah, before I even knew that she was watching. Wow. I Been a fan. Yeah, she, she she be, she became my fan five years ago. Even though we've been married for almost twenty years, yeah. that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Tar uh, tarot card of Craig Kimbrell. Five minute warning on the baklava. Five minute warning on the We have an autograph. Jose Martinez for the Cardinals. Cardinals going to Carrie B. Well, it is Carrie B, but not Carrie Byron. No. Congratulations, Carrie. We're not uppers then? Oh, you mean youpers? No, we are not from Michigan. We sound like it. Probably. We sound like youpers? Maybe. Well, I don't know about that. I also don't think we sound like Minnesotans or Wisconsin, but we totally do. Okay, we don't need to talk about this topic. No, it's our no we don't need to it's do it. Thing. We oh, don't no. need. Oh, it's, we're not hashtagging that one. We are not hashtagging that. You're not a thing. <laughs> You're a thing. You're in the manual. Because that's what everyone wants to hear is our uh, spousal inside talk. Uh, or what? Are, what is it? Uh, joke? Inside joke, yeah. Inside talk, yeah. Use your inside voice. Use your inside voice. Uh, Scott, yes, we had a rookie in the room. We had Mr. Antoine Odom in the room. Um, he uh, has never joined us in the chat room before, uh, but he's not in this break. Aaron Noah, tarot card, or not tarot card, uh, teller card. Fortune teller of Diaz. See if I can finish this box before that timer goes off. <laughs> All right, we've got a logo swap on Jose Ramirez. Can't believe I got that. For the Indians. So... ATL's Finest Break says, I'm from the Detroit area, but have vacationed many times in the UP and remember how they sound. Oh, that is too funny. So we do something like that? No. Oh. No. Tarot card of Ozzy Albies, The World. Yeah. <laughs> Cleveland is killing it. Good break for the Indians so far? Absolutely. So far. I mean, this is only the third box. We've got seven more to go after this. This could turn into the Twins break, for all I know. This, this could turn into the Diamondbacks break, for all I know. Don't sleep on the Diamondbacks. Man, I feel bad for the Diamondbacks. The past couple of breaks, anyway. People have just been shying away. When's the random spot baklava break? Well, <laughs> uh, in about two minutes, I'll be pulling it out of the oven, so... Actually, and then come up tomorrow. There's going to be an silent auction. You can bid on. Yeah, she's auctioning off, and this isn't a joke. She's auctioned this stuff off before, and we're we're not kidding here. She makes some incredible freaking baklava. That's why I married her, and I don't even like baklava. Uh, for the pasta, fortune teller, Freddie Freeman. 
Mr. Froof. I said my goal is to be up at the on the national at the national, be up on stage behind all the breakers and just baking for everybody. <laughs> We're not baking. There's a tarot card of Jacob deGrom, Ace of Wands. So, baseball cards 191 said, just asking, did I spend money because I didn't want to? Ah, uh, maybe that's what the order was. As far as I know, I, I mean, I, I'd have to check to see what that order that just came through and was. Um, I'll have to let you know after the break. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now, sweaty. He says you owe a hundred dollars. No, he doesn't owe a hundred dollars. <laughs> Don't scare the poor kid. Have you found any bazooka backs since then? Just that one? Okay. So we found one bazooka back base card, one bazooka back autograph. The autograph was Lean Door. There's an Indigo Indians. 78 to 250. Popeye. All right, no name. Uh, hold on. Can you look on the front of those cards? Someone said there was a no name. There it is. She got it right away. I believe. Yep, Johnny Cueto. Giants. Good eyes. Ross. Nice. You guys are awesome. And I am I'm failing as a breaker to, to spot this stuff. All right, oven just went off. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Hopefully I don't burn my hand. I've, I've never had to get up to take food out of the oven in the middle of a break. Okay, back to business. There's a player weekend variation of Jake Arietta for the Phillies. Going to Dame Debbie. And of course, if we do spot anything uh, else as we're sorting and collating, uh, we like to try to tweet them out so if we do come across like a, a 4th of July or anything like that that we missed during the live break try to make sure that the people that will be receiving their mail days know what's coming fortune teller of Blake Snell so two no name plates a couple of logo swaps and at least one bazooka back base card and one bazooka back auto so far so yeah this this product is as fun as i thought there's francisco arcia rookie auto for the angels going to dame debbie congrats deb final pack box three Mike Cobb. That is a short print. Nice. That does it for box number three. Folks, how are we doing? Free box break for this month will be next month. Uh, so it won't be next week because um, I won't be here. Uh, it would probably be uh, the, the second weekend of... April, so not this coming weekend, but maybe the weekend after that. All right, so someone had a question about did they spend money? So I gotta check and see real quick what that order was all about. $15 order, so that was a high end bundle. No, it wasn't. It was your card. Ah. The order was your card. 
So no, he did not spend any money. So um, who was that? So base, baseball cards, one ninety one. You did not spend any money that I'm aware of, so you're you're good to go. It costs no money to sit back and watch and chat with other wax crackers. Yeah, the only thing that's left up in the shop, as I mentioned, uh, are the last couple of teams in the high-end bundle, and then uh, the hats. I think that's all that's left. Oh, we've got another variation in the background. Or parallel, I should say, another variation. Gene Segura, Jacob DeGrom, and an indigo parallel of Jose Abreu. And that one is numbered 62 of 150. <clears throat> I did. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sweaty is vicious. <laughs> uh, the high-end bundle. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to describe that. So the high-end bundle, uh, what we will do is uh, we will be breaking, I think that one is three products, if I'm correct. Uh, or is it four? Uh, so maybe it's four. Four high-end products, I believe. Well, now I got to go look. You're doing a great job. Doing a great job. Yeah, yeah doing a great job. Oh, I gotta click into my website just to remember which break. It's, I'd, I'd hate to say. Okay, so it's four. So four different cases uh, throughout the the year, and they'll all be high end products. So it'd be the Topps Tribute, Museum Collection, Immaculate, and Triple Threads. And so what happens then is you make your twenty dollar down payment to lock in your team in all four of those cases. Five dollars uh, will go towards. Uh, each break spot. So let's say you hypothetically got the Yankees, you paid 20 bucks, you secured your spot for the Yankees in all four of those cases. And then after I price out those breaks, uh, $5 would be deducted from the final price. You'd be invoiced ahead of each of those four breaks. And then you wouldn't have to worry about, oh gosh, I need to get to crackandwax.com so I can make sure I get the Yankees in this break. Uh, black and white, parallel of Zach Gozart. Or Cozart, however you define decide you want to pronounce that. Does anybody know how to get a Panini Reward Point card? You've been looking. Well, I know how you can get a Panini Reward Card t-shirt. <laughs> you wait long enough and I'll put those back up in the shop. Raise your hand if you're in the chat room and you've got one of our uh, Panini 150 points t-shirts. Fortune teller of Ronald Acuna Jr. And Scott, I do want to let you know, I do think there are only two available teams left in the high-end bundle, and then that one's all sold out. And uh, we were going to pull that off the website last month, but Tribute got pushed way the heck back. Roberto Alomar, are you? Yep, Roberto Alomar is a short print. There you go. How's it going over there? I feel like I'm talking like the Micro Machines guy today. And I haven't really had any M&Ms. <laughs> how many I have had how many coffees, that's correct. Shohei Otani, this is the base card. He does have a couple of variations. There is an Indigo parallel of Harrison Bader, Cardinals. This one is numbered 152 of 250. Yeah, it's uh, originally was supposed to expire on the 19th of February, but as I mentioned, Tribute got pushed way back, so I let it sit open until the next available high-end break, which is coming up in a little bit. Folks, again, if you're interested in helping us raise even more for St. Baldrick's, this is the final day to do it. Uh, tips are not required, but they are appreciated. And any tips that we get today, uh, if you go to the link streamlabs.com slash crack and wax, we will put that towards St. Baldrick's. And right now, we are over the $500 mark. And that is incredible. Fortune teller, Chris Davis. LQ and I were talking yesterday about doing breaker battle today but uh, i decided against it just because i i like the idea i think it's fun but it's just it's too complex and complicated and i, I need to think of a way to incorporate it and not have everyone be confused by it i i want people to have fun <laughs> i want the prizes to be 
uh, desirable. So if anyone has any um, realistic suggestions, you know, and not the suggestion of, oh, just give me the prize, uh, please let me know uh, how you think you would like to see Breaker Battle played. LQ, your baklava smells delish. And uh, you, you remember how we were talking about scented mailboxes or, or uh, package boxes? Yeah. Wouldn't it be awesome if we just somehow no, got the baklava aroma into our mail day boxes oh for these God. folks? I don't think they want that. All right, no, Ross no. says, sorry, we do not want that. No name. So we, why, there we go. So Ray's actually was a no name plate. Brandon Lowe. Well spotted, Ross, of course. Now, why do you think people wouldn't want to? Oh, there's another one, Cubs. So that was two no names in a row. Kyle Hendricks. That's a logo swap. No. Why wouldn't people want to smell your fresh baklava as soon as they open up? But their cards would be safely tucked inside of team bags. You know. Impossible. Impossible. Hey, we got a fortune teller autograph. Nice. For the Mets. Going to Turk B. Brandon Nemo, 46 of 50. That is cool. And for the time being, to me, this is going to join Francisco Lindor's bazooka back for hit of the night contention. Very nice. Well done. Well, now we've got another order. I think someone went in and got a high tops one, or high tops, <laughs> a tops high end bundle. I've been fired by all sweaty. Yep, yeah, you're, you, you are right to do so. I see, I'm looking at player images instead of down here, because I'm trying to spot like the 4th of July stuff. I'm paying too much attention to that instead of Logo swaps and no names. Yeah, you, you're gonna have to put that. I don't have a top loader that's that good size, so go for it. Yep, Scott says just got the Marlins and D-backs is all that's left. And that seems like that's the case every break. <laughs> D-backs is all that's ever left. Scott, thank you so much for grabbing that. That's going to be fun. There's our other autograph, Cesar Hernandez for the Phillies. Going to Dame Debbie. Somebody's got to get uh, Mr. Odom back in here. We've been pulling Phillies autographs all of a sudden. Congratulations, Debbie. Yeah, 4th of July is nearly impossible, but you never know. You never know. Because, I mean, if, if we pulled one, I think that would be hit of the break contention for sure. All right, now that we're about one third of the way through this case, anyone not liking Gypsy Queen so far uh, from what you've seen? Uh, so far, the coalition seems decent. I haven't heard any rumblings online or on Twitter. Usually that's one of the first things I hear about is uh, poor collation. Haven't heard any of that. Haven't heard anything so far about any uh, pack out issues or dings or anything like that. So that's, you know, the the kind of thing that we're also looking out for. There's a logo swap of Ryan Barucki for the Blue Jays. Going to Kim K. And I believe Kim K picked up the Blue Jays in this bundle. Correctly. Scott, the other thing I wanted to ask you, so I've, I'm, every once in a while I'll throw up some some nicknames for people. Like I just recently decided that I was going to call De Debbie Dame Debbie from now on on the team boards. And I decided, well, let's go with uh, uh, some Twitter handles today as well. Uh, are you okay with me putting uh, PR nuts up there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know what's the what's the what's the backstory on your Twitter handle of PR nuts? Because I'm thinking public relation nuts. Um, <laughs> Of course, LQ always wants to know about the nuts. Ken's Cardboard says, Collation is good. Love the emotion shown on the images. Yeah. I, the... 
whoever is in charge of uh, photo selection in the past five to ten years, and I know I know Suze was on board with uh, Stadium Club photo selection years back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Sure, either that or pets. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Oh, his last name is Petzold. Oh, I see. Fortune teller of Christian Yelich. So we got a tie game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Top of the third. Okay, that's encouraging. Tarot card of J.D. Martinez, strength. So I got a call for Trevor's story, and is that something that I missed? Trevor's story, Trevor's story. Trevor Richards, can you check the Rockies and see if there's a Trevor story in there that I missed because I'm not seeing them in this pile. Ah, here we go. Ah, she's good. She's fast. Mm -hmm. Trevor's story. Base card. Okay. I think someone was just excited about Trevor's story. <laughs> I was playing a game called Call of the Base Card. Uh, LQ, you've been tasked with looking for no names because apparently I missed another one again. Ten of... Yeah. Ten of Swords, Edwin Encarnacion. Which, uh, I have no idea. Well, no, no one seems to know. Oh, but they saw it was a no-name. <laughs> so someone named Take a Shower Stinky says, Crack and Wax and Zach Hample are number one. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, okay, so you don't remember the Zach Hample story? Wait, no, is he that? He, he is. Yeah. Uh, Edwin Diaz, I hero card. Oh, I whispered that. Yeah. No, he is. He is. Stupid friends in high school started replacing vowels with I A R because it uh, became pie arts, but nuts was funnier. Yes, nuts is always funnier. You got that right. So I'll keep if you find a no name. All right. And our chrome pack. So we could end up with a Super Fractor, which still I've never pulled before. That is incredible. And we could also find an autograph, which would be awesome. Paul Goldschmidt. Justin Upton and an indigo of Michael Kopech. White Sox going to Dame Debbie. This is numbered 107 of 150. So in the chat room, we have someone named All Sweaty and someone named Take a Shower Stinky. <laughs> Coincidence? Fortune teller of Javier Baez. Oh, I got to look at the names. Oh, we're good. And PR Nuts. Boy, we got a, <laughs> got a collection today. a bunch of dude bro names right there, I must say. Is that what that is? Yeah. I was thinking the other day, is there such a thing as a nerd bro? And if there is, am I one? Yeah. I th yeah, I totally would call myself a nerd bro then if there is such a thing. And how often do I do that? Well, when you're not hitting your head. <laughs> you guys. See, that's my excuse for the day. I'll... You guys. He knocked himself so hard on a... What was it? Um, All right, so... Bravo? Okay, I, I gotta, gotta get into bro mode right. here. And I will give you permission to show the, the picture. Right. I'll, I'll tweet it out later. I don't have it on the, my broadcaster. Okay, so at the gym yesterday, doing leg day, like you do. There's an indigo of Garrett Cole for the Astros. 150, 250, but it, it is what yeah, it's called. I get it, but it's like, oh, it's like yeah, karma. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're encouraging this story, don't you? I know, but <laughs> that's why I broke up. I yeah. gotta. Okay, so I was just doing, I'm just doing my stretches just to start the workout. Okay, just the stretch part. I'm, I just gotten there, just stretching. There's a logo swap of Kyle Freeland. And I was behind a row of leg machines. Behind them <laughs> is the key. And I was uh, in the middle of stretches, and I, I was uh, stretching my legs out. So, of course, I was bent over and kind of leaning towards the left to uh, stretch out my hamstrings. 
and I stood up pretty fast and cracked the top of my skull. And when I say cracked, oh my gosh. Here's the thing. He usually is full of hyperbole with pretty much recaps of of anything. He literally did crack his head. I looked at the top of his head, and there is literally like a... There's a bit uh, of a crack there, yeah. Well, you broke the skin enough that you had like a half moon of blood on the top yeah. of your head. And, uh, yeah. Fortune teller of Jacob de Gram. Like, it's real. We have a picture. And, uh... So I could show him. I had to take a picture of it because can't see Keep cracking that skull. Yeah! Um, <laughs> Who said that? I that was Ross. That, that was, was Ross. Good, Ross. We have Trevor Story, Indigo Parallel Auto for the Rockies going up Popeye. Rockies was one of the last teams to go. This is number 65 of 150. There's a little karma for you, sir. I don't think I've seen Popeye in the room since the beginning, but we'll still call that hash, uh, hashtag chat room mojo. Congratulations, Popeye. Hope I didn't hurt the hamster running around. Uh, I, hamstring. No. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, up boy. in the up in my skull. Yes, skull okay. No, no. See, that's because I hit my head. No. <laughs> but um, anyhow, uh, so I was wearing earbuds, and so of course I couldn't hear anyone's reactions. But you know when you hit your head, sometimes you see stars. I freaking heard stars. That's how hard I hit my head. And I, I looked around, and everyone was looking at me like it must have made <laughs> a, a atrocious thud. And I'm just like. Yeah, man, I'm okay. I'm just walking it off, and you know. But I te- or I texted LQ and I said I just cracked my head so hard that I got nauseous, <laughs> like I was not feeling good. But I I got through it. I got you yeah. know. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> I worry. LQ is a bit of a worry wart, a but bit. I also have medical training. So you can tell them yeah. That, so. She's like, call me now. <laughs> <laughs> we have a black and white parallel of us Austin Dean for the Marlins. Going to Tropical Chick. I used to be an EMT, so I do have background, and that freaks me out when you said yeah. about the nudge. So I wasn't being a bad thing about Oh, look, look. Well, so Popeye is a uh, is naughty boy. He says he's at work, watching from work. Oh, that's smart. Hey, well, you know what? I, 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 I work from work, and I don't mean that. I mean, yeah, like, you. I do crack and whack stuff at my day job and I and and I shouldn't be I really shouldn't be but there's a no name there's a hey, I caught one I caught one <laughs> a no name of Freddie Freeman there you go yeah I am uh concussion protocol for sure yeah I'm I I'm surprised I made it to the break today I, <laughs> even last night LQ's like do you think you should go in and we're talking this is like 11 o'clock at night I'm like Just because of I'm like go oh, where <laughs> Jackie Robinson, got to be a short print. Yep, 23. Guys, just heads up, Fire Hands have a 7% discount for all new customers. Use the code NEWGUY when purchasing spots via the website. Sorry about the shameless plug. Oh, I don't know if I like that. James Fentress. And Whit Merrifield for the Royals. Royals going to PR Nuts. Congratulations, Mr. Nuts. Oh, gosh. The Nationals uniform. A <laughs> uh, little fake out there. I, I'm looking for stars and stripes, obviously. And there's a, there's a Nationals, and it's obviously not going to be a 4th of July. But, boy, that uh, faked me out real, real well there. All right. After this box, I'm going to assign uh, some moderation. And uh, I'm going to need someone to help me. This is the second time, for some reason today, that I've got uh, other breakers plugging in our chat room today. I, I, that, I've never seen that happen before. It's really weird.
fortune teller of Max Scherzer. Three home runs. Goldschmidt. Wow. Well, already worth the money. I got bots again. Yeah, I don't think that was a bot. I don't think a bot would have been able to figure out how to spell half of that paragraph. All right, dude, you gotta go. <laughs> That's not cool. Sorry, I don't want to be the bad guy here, but uh... So, Ross, I'm going to make you a moderator if you don't mind helping me out. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, back to business. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now Firehand is actually in our chat room. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate it. Yeah, Firehand, if they're, uh, the best way to describe it is they're a, comp a, com a competitor, I guess. And have sent bots to our chat room to to poach our customers. Neat. Yeah. All right, we have an upside down Pablo Lopez. That usually doesn't mean anything. It just uh, is a curiosity of mine. King of Swords, John Carlos Stanton, tarot card. Okay, thank you. Wheel of Fortune, Nolan Arnado, tarot card. Upside down parallel, yeah. <laughs> Only at tops. And then we've got a tarot card of Jesus Aguilar. And final pack here. I've just never experienced that before. So it's a... Uh... Yeah, it's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Uh, fortune teller of Labor Toys. Well, that's probably why they have like 20 different moderators in the room at any given time, so... Yeah. Well, again, thank you, Ross. I, I appreciate you helping out there. Thank you, Baseball Cards 191. Well, we are at the halfway point. Now into box number six of 10. I'm, thank you for not standing up to do laundry. <laughs> yeah. Usually I leave for a while. yeah. I get bored. You get bored? Well, you know. Paul DeYoung like like of your bias. No one are not. Well, this is true, but you you got a few cards there to, to go through. I mean, you've been looking at the fronts and the back, so that's a little less boring. Yeah. 
I do. Well, I hit my head. You see. Errol <laughs> 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 Nola Indigo 104 of 250. Random guy says, let's get to that sock relic. Yeah, let's, please. I would love to pull one of those. I don't care even who it is of. <laughs> Fortune teller of Nolan Arenado. I feel like we pulled that one before, so we're starting to get into insert dupe territory now. King of Swords, John Carlos Stanton tarot card. John Carlo. Yeah. He used to be called Mike Stanton, actually. There's a logo swap of Buster Posey. I know. Uh, then also, of course, being this this is a Giants card, it's going to Ross, so he would have he would have told me all about that. <laughs> A Rosserator? <laughs> that sounds more like Macerator. You know, like uh, Macerated Strawberries, Rosserated Strawberries. No? Sounds some like something worse. There's a Fortune Teller of Juan Soto. I was thinking it was more like a, you know, like a Terminator. Like a Rosserator. A Terminator, yeah. Firehand was one of them, yeah. I, uh, yeah, that's disappointing. Um... The only thing that I, I would fear that if they are sending bots already, that if we call them out publicly, they would they would send a lot more. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with that. Fortune teller Chris Bryant. I just do think that that's unfortunate. It's unprofessional, um, and the I've I've never had interaction with Firehand before, so that's too bad because that makes me not want to now. Babe Ruth. They are, yeah. Now I did miss uh, Ross did say, uh, I've never felt so powerful. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother calling them out. I think that that might just make things worse. Well, it just means that we're on we're on their radar at least. So uh, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. <laughs> Hey, we've got a Giants autograph. See, you do good things for Crack and Wax, and good things will happen to you. Ross is our moderator today, taking good good care of the uh, chat room, and he's got himself a Steven Duggar rookie auto. Nice. Congratulations. I put that in there for you, Ross. Here's my... Ah, I did not. LQ. Oh, no, yeah, that was one of them that I did see. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice job, any anyhow. Those are not that would be like a Target employee handing out sales ads in front of a Walmart. Not cool. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that is pretty much it. Don't. Yeah, I would, it would just too. Much. And if you have, we'll just pull. Them. Now I don't mind if they come in using their their breaker name and just joining the chat and being cool and just chatting with people but there's a fortune teller of justin verlander but literally going in to the chat room plugging a break coupon code i don't know bless you lq but let's move on Let's talk about Gypsy Queen. Tori Hunter, what? Cool. Tori Hunter Auto. Whoa. 
Oh, Fixer. Michael is going to be so surprised. 81 of 99, and my guess is either that's because it's uh, a short print or because I don't know if that's a logo, if that's considered a logo swap there. But this is a very cool uh, autograph that I was not expecting to pull. As I never, I never expect to pull twins, and of course, since I'm not in a break, I pull the twins. That is awesome. Nicely done. Uh, the different color fortune tellers. I don't think it really means anything. I think it's just uh, part of the design element. Well, personally, I would put Tori Hunter up there as one of the hits of the night. But <laughs> Well, thank you, DZ. I appreciate that. He said, uh, I think we should make a case for a crack and wax to get in the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame this year. That's very nice of you. Very cool. I, I, I've never heard of it, so I'll just... <laughs> Is this oh, Popeye said he just pulled the same auto uh, from a hanger pack yesterday. Nice. Firehand said it was an impersonator. Well, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. In any case, we just pulled a nameplate, uh, no name, I should say. Uh, this is of Carlos Correa for the Astros. Astros going to Vilma. Sweet. Oh, they were like one of ones and stuff. Yeah, I I think that one was the one where there was a one of one Mauer. That was years. Yeah. Ago. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you didn't you didn't thank Michael for this Tory Hunter autograph that we just pulled. Uh, you, you can have that one. Okay, I have quite a few <laughs> it's a Craig Kimbrell tarot card. Uh, I, yes, yes, but that's whatever. A tarot card, Ozzy Elbies. Final pack of box number six. LQ, how far have we come that we've been able to do a case of, of something? And this is probably going to take us two hours, which is still a lot slower than other breakers. But seriously, what did I tell you before we broke this? You, you, you said, how long will this take? And I said three to four hours. Three to four hours. Can we talk about how bizarre it is that Kimberl and Keichel still don't have teams? That is freaking bizarre. And I honestly thought the Twins were going to take one of them, if not both of them. Can anyone please explain the no-name cards? Okay, so, DZ, the no-name cards, they're just variations. It's just a, a fun little uh, additional aspect to collect, to chase. So if you're doing... I swear they screwed up once, and then they were like, let's make that variation. It's kind of an homage to uh, sometimes you would pull, like the, one of the more famous no-name plates is Frank Thomas from, uh, what, what is it, the 90, 1990 Tops. Uh, highly collectible, very uh, sought after. And uh, I think that just kind of pays homage to that kind of an error. Uh, so it's just a, a, an extra fun layer to chase. If you're doing player collections, player sets. But yeah, what's the deal with Keichel and Kimbrel? And what's the deal? Am I saying Keichel correctly this time or is it? I think it's Keichel, yeah. I, I think I would say Keichel on accident, but I think it's... <laughs> okay. Chrome pack. Oh, are we going to get... Are we going to get a super? Probably not, because it would have been in the back, and I would have seen one of one. Trey Turner, Lewis Brinson, and Nicholas Castellanos. All right, folks in the chat room. You've seen uh, you've seen everything that we've pulled so far. What are we looking for now? What's redemption? So, all right. So you're calling a redemption. So, so there would be mystery player A or mystery player B would be our redemptions that we could be looking for. That would be huge, and sock relics of any of any sort. Other than the mystery redemptions or any sock relics, well, who are we looking for? Who do you want us to pull in these last four boxes? LQ just found another bazooka add back. And that one is of Tyler Austin for the Twins. Fixer with back-to-back. -back. Wow. I'll just put that because you're going to sleep that, right? The bazooka, yeah. Yeah. We have an indigo of Elvis Andrus 
29 of 250. When is Chrome supposed to come out? Uh, June or July, I think. Uh, baseball Cards wants us to pull a LeBron James. Boy, if, if we pulled a LeBron James out of this, I think that would be... <laughs> When will we get the Bill Ripken homage? Uh, when I can fit into that shirt again. <laughs> For those that don't know, uh, my brother-in-law bought me a uh, Bill Ripken uh, F-Face t-shirt that is uncensored, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, uh, but I didn't. Yeah, it was that night. Ross wants us to pull printing plates. I would love that as well. And... Uh, so LQ says Super Fractor or Redemption. Kyle Tucker, rookie card, fortune teller. What's that? Yep, you already showed me that before. Yeah. Nope. Chris Davis, fortune teller. So we've got a lot more no names so far than we do logo swaps, I'm noticing. <laughs> oh, Ragus, uh, Ragus. Ragus. <laughs> <laughs> I really did hit my head, didn't I? Ross said August is usually when Chrome drops. Okay. Wouldn't mind a Bo Jackson or George Brett short print. No, he's not. That's John would like that too. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. fortune teller. I think uh, John's kind of given up on watching our breaks for the Royals, especially if he doesn't have them. <laughs> he has the Yankees, though. Pulling a nice Yankees hit for John would be. Oh, there's a no name. Astros. Framber Valdez. That is a name I'm not familiar with. That is a rookie card. No name. Astros uh, for Vilma. So we're looking for uh, sock relics. We're looking for printing uh, plates, super fractors. But any any specific, particular autograph. Our big hit could very well be Francisco Lindor, but I think we can do better. I think we can do better. And if we don't do better, that's still a good hit to have, that bazooka back, Francisco Lindor. He's still a, a big name. But I just have... I have a feeling. Sandy Koufax, logo swap. So short print logo swap for the Dodgers. Going to Dame Debbie. Scott would like to see a black and white Acuna Auto. Take a shower, Stinky. Would like a David Ortiz autograph. Pull a Michael Jordan auto for the White Sox. Yeah. <laughs> These are some good guesses. Hey, Fixer. Michael. Dude, you're on a roll. Eddie Rosario. Jeez. Jeez, twins. Two twins autos in the same case. That is unheard of. Okay, LQ is just going to hang on to this one for safekeeping. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Uh, we will put it in your will. <laughs> Who did I just pass on? Gary Carter. Cool. Nice. Pull a Twins autograph. <laughs> yeah, AL Central case, definitely. Uh, Indians, they've cooled off in the last few boxes, but yeah, we started off a lot of Indians awesome, uh, awesomeness. There's a Justin Turner black and white parallel. I don't think these are numbered. Oh, they are numbered. 41 of 50 for the Dodgers going to Dame Debbie.
Max Muncie, nice. Max Muncie auto for the Dodgers. Going to Dame Debbie. That's cool. Nice. Way to go, Debs. Gary Carter equals underrated, in my opinion. Is that an actual opinion? Like, no, do you seriously? Or <laughs> I don't think. I, I think. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I never thought he was. Uh, I think he's rated properly, and I don't mean to mean that in a bad way. I've always thought that he was well respected. Fortune teller of Christian Yelich. It is, but I wouldn't worry about it. There is a logo swap for Billy McKinney of the Blue Jays. Going to Kim K. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. He definitely was great. And uh, I think we pulled either last year or the year before a uh, cut auto of uh, Mr. Carter. Uh, Sad and awesome at the same time, you know. Uh, the Magician, Tarot Card, Clayton Kershaw. Don Mikowski? Don Mikowski, <laughs> the Magic Man, yeah. <laughs> what a deep pull for you, That's how you know L LQ's from Wisconsin. I don't care about football, I'm sorry. Yeah. My dad just had that post in his office. <laughs> well, good thing you didn't say that with Mr. Odom in the house, jeez. Yeah, I don't like anything you do. <laughs> Tarot card of Shohei Otani, the world. ATL's finest break says, I met Magic Mike. Oh, really? Do you mean Mikowski, or are we talking like the, that movie, Magic Mike? Thunder, Tarot card, Mike Trout. Have you a That's what she said. All right, we've got three boxes to go. I think we should probably, uh, I need a little drink, a little M&M &M recharge, and maybe we should do a hit recap to see where we're at so far. Ah, yeah. Baja Blast, baby. Not brought to you by Mountain Dew Baja Blast, but man, go ahead and send us some free uh, <laughs> Baja Blast. I wouldn't mind it. Uh, yeah, and I'll keep saying it. All right, so the autos that we have so far, Max Muncie, Eddie Rosario, Tori Hunter, Stephen Duggar, Daniel Mengden, Mike Fultanovich, Francisco Lindor, which is that bazooka back, 19 of 25, Willie Ademis, Jose Martinez, Francisco Arcia, Cesar Hernandez, Fortune Teller of Brandon Nemo, that's right, 46 of 50, Whit Merrifield and Trevor Story Indigo, 65 of 150. He said, yeah, Mikowski here in Atlanta at the sports bar I worked at a year ago. Nice. Very cool. All right, so we've got three boxes to go. Six more autos. Chrome pack. The back one is numbered to 150, so it's not a super fractor. Ramon Laureano, Joey Votto, and an indigo. Reese Hoskins. God, that is just beautiful. Nice. And that is numbered 43 of 150 going to the Phillies. Also met Mark Rice, John Smoltz, and Stuart Sink. <laughs> Mike Clevenger, Indigo, 190 of 250. 
So Scott thinks the next auto is a Chapman A's. I've been pulling a lot of his autographs lately, so I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised. There's George Brett. I think Scott asked for that. There it is. Fortune teller Max Scherzer. And if we're, if uh, Mike were here, he'd uh, remind us that Max Scherzer is a former lacrosse logger. Mm -hmm. Mark Price is cheap. Ah, well, uh, <laughs> Jacob DeGrom, fortune teller. I was just having this conversation the other day with a coworker of mine that uh, one thing you learn really quickly is that just because someone has money, like, you know, an, uh, a pro athlete, doesn't mean they know how to spend their money. So, tipping is not always top of mind. We have a Chance Adams, rookie, mini, 42 of 99 for Waxtopia. This is up there for hit of the night. And Waxtopia is going to be pretty happy with that if this ends up being hit of the night. Congrats, my friend. Nice. I was not expecting that at all. Very cool. So that's another one where it's... I don't have a top loader that size, so... <laughs> and if you're going to pull a Yankees auto out of Gypsy Queen, Chance Adams is one of the ones you definitely want. Aaron Judge, of course, is not a bad option. But uh, this being a rookie insert, yeah, that's a, that's a good one to chase after. Yeah, isn't that a nice design, Ross? That's awesome. For those who uh, are not familiar with uh, Ross, uh, he's design on deck. He designed some really cool custom cards. I actually hired him out to help me with some uh, varsity trading cards concepts just because I, I love his work so much and uh, I kind of had to get a, I, I had to get a fresh set of eyes on the designs because I was just getting a little bit frustrated with my own work and he does he does great work so if you, if you, if you follow him on Instagram or Twitter uh, he's usually got his custom designs posted they're awesome cards awesome and I just I tell him every once in a while I wish there was a way that we you know he could just print them out and you know not uh, have to worry about MLB, MLBPA, or Tops or anybody uh, coming after him because uh, they're just they're just awesome. There's an Indigo autograph, Ryan Barucki, Blue Jays going to Kim K. Having a good break too. Yeah, 88 of 150. Excellent rookie auto. So, ATL's Finest says, I hear you. I waited on his family and friends for a party, 12 total, and complained about the automatic 18% tip. And Ross says, well, they're all from Oklahoma, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> and Scott says, know why it's always windy in Kansas, Oklahoma blows, and Nebraska sucks. Well, those should be the only two autos out of this box, unless this box happens to overperform, which it just did. We are on our third auto out of this box. This one's Danny Jensen, also for the Blue Jays, also going to Kim K. Kim K with back-to-back -back autos. Okay, now we should be done with autographs out of this box. I love it when a, when a, when a case overperforms. But that just means I, I hope that it doesn't make someone else's case underperform. And that's when I don't like it. Javier Baez, fortune teller. Ross says, just to clarify, I'm an Okie. <laughs> All right, I see we've got a bazooka back of somebody back here. Can you believe I spotted that? Yeah, I know, me neither. And the bazooka back is Zach Godley for the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks was the last spot taken, I think. Taken by Old Dirty Boat. 
getting yourself a bazooka back. Congrats. John Smoltz was by far the coolest. Not only is he humble, he also doesn't mind chatting. Oh, it's just in the middle, I think, in there. The one Diamondback card in there. <laughs> Over uh, All-Star Weekend in the Twin Cities, it was, uh, in 2014, I had the pleasure of uh, bumping into Dave Winfield, who, upon spotting a newspaper, um, and I hadn't met him at this point, he spotted a newspaper and, and walked towards me, opened up the newspaper, and pointed at himself in the picture in the newspaper and, and he and he goes hey you know who that is i'm like sir you don't need to t-. i'm like i know who you are I mean, the, the dude is like seven feet tall he's the, the 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 most towering person in whatever room you're in unless like freaking andre the giants in there too but uh it was just cool it was so cool that he he was so proud of himself that he was in the local paper <laughs> And that just to me that took me by surprise. It's like you know, I don't, I, I can't imagine most celebrities, especially someone of his age who had been a celebrity for years and decades or whatever, would be that, you know, kind of like a kid about it. Like, look who's in the paper. It's me. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. What's that? Be like what? A kid? Oh, I'd be like him at all. Yeah, well, I would hope so. Uh, let's see. Didn't you recently have another break that had extra graphs? That does happen every once in a while. It usually happens more with Panini than, than it does with Tops. But then Panini is also known for, you know, jamming their product with points. So, uh, Tarot Card, the magician, Corey Kluber, who put on a heck of a show the other day against the Twins, but Jose Barrios was just a little bit better. Trey Turner logo swap for the Nationals. Going to, do, going to Jason Ginter. It's a name I haven't said all day today. Thank you. I don't. I don't see him. These day breaks, even though I call us a break night, these day breaks are a little bit tougher on some folks. There is a no name for the Royals. Jacob Junis, PR nuts. Here you go, Scott. Got to air a grievance over the Tigers trading Smoltz to Atlanta, right? To Smoltz himself and talk about growing up in Michigan. Well, that's kind of cool. We've never done that. We've never really shared fan stories. Yeah. Well, we talked about the Kubel thing. Uh, the Joker. Not us. I meant Ronald Acuna, tarot card. Oh, folks in the room? We share crap all the time. Yeah, we do. That's actually not a bad idea. Now, you know, we've got a couple boxes left. Uh, yeah, we could vote on story the next Vote on story the next <laughs> Anyone else meet any interesting uh, celebrities, athletes, have any good uh, or bad interactions with them? Labor Taurus Fortune Teller. Final pack of box number eight. Tarot card of the Emperor Mookie Betts. We are now on our penultimate box. And let's see, has anyone made any additional tips? Nope. All right, no big deal. If you do want to donate a little extra to St. Baldrick's, you've got a uh, few minutes left to do that. Streamlabs.com slash crack and wax is the place to go. Donate any amount you want in tips and those will go to St. Baldrick's. This is our penultimate Chrome pack. Another parallel in the background, not a super fractor. Cody Bellinger, Jose Abreu. What did that say? Stated. Oh, I can't tell what that says. Interesting. Uh, Indigo of Mookie Betts. 
91 of 150. Okay, so what I'm looking at here, and I've noticed these on these other cards, and I just haven't really noticed. I'll grab one of these. The little yellow thing. Slated as, I think. So that little yellow thing, I think that says slated as, and then it says P. Okay, yeah, I've never noticed that before. Or didn't get a chance to read what that said before. All right, moving along. Skittles are evil. Well, these are eminent. Hmm. They're not as chilly as they were earlier. <laughs> All right. Nothing of note that I noticed there. That might be a bazooka back or something that I probably missed. There's a logo swap, Mitch Hanniger for the Mariners. For the Kim K. Fortune teller of Jose El Tuve. Ross says, why not add some tiny little useless design element to a card when you get the chance? Yeah, why not? Jake Bowers, Ray's Auto. Pulled him last week as well. Ray's going to Matt Glass Smoltz. Looking for one more auto out of this box. Had a few games I sat directly behind Paul Molitor before he was Twins manager. Met Tori Hunter a few times pre-game when he was a twin. Used to go to a lot of games before I moved away. That was that's DZ. Said all that. That's very cool. I believe the sock relics are the only relics in GQ this year. There's a logo swap of Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. For Popeye. Popeye. Damn it. I did it again, but this is huge. This is huge. A redemption of Yusei Kikuchi. I'm sorry we don't get to play Call Your Shot. <laughs> but this is massive. Uh, this has got to be in contention for hit of the night. Going to the Mariners, Kim K. That's huge. Congratulations, Kim. You called a, yeah, you did. You called a redemption. Yeah. Very nice. You are just blasting I'm going to, I'm going too fast. Yeah. I am shaking a little bit. That was huge. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a, that's top loader. Oh yeah. That's that's the second time now this year that I've I've messed up uh, the call your shot game by doing that. That that is her favorite game. <laughs> Dang it! You know, and they've been so good about not putting uh, redemptions in, in uh, products in the newer. Well, this year at least I've noticed so far that that hasn't been something I'm looking for, and I forget about it, and then boom. Yeah, Kim K is having a hell of a break, all right. Uh, Felix Hernandez, Indigo, 168 of 250. All right, I, I want to play Call Your Shot. I, I just want to play Call Your Shot, but I, I don't... Um, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to play Call Your Shot. I, I just want to play Call Your Shot, all right? Um, so here's what we're going to do. 
here's what we're gonna do. I because I messed up, I I, I screwed up. Call your shot. All right, I screwed it up. When we start breaking the final box, um, before we start breaking the final box, we will do call your shot. And what you're going to do is you're going to not guess the redemption. You're going to guess what the first autograph we pull out of that box is going to be. Don't do it yet. I will. I'll post it in the chat room and I'll and I'll play the graphic uh, in the in the room. But I still I got just I got to play it. Uh-huh. I got to play it. All right. So are we on board with that? Do we? Do you want to play call your shot? Yeah, we'll get to that, Scott. But if you want to play Call Your Shot, we'll do it. Call Your Shot's a redemption game. You don't um, get the redemption. You don't get the redemption. You get you get a prize if you call it correctly. So what we'll do is uh, before we start the next boxes, we will we'll we'll play that, and then uh, whoever wins, who, if someone does guess the autograph correctly, uh, they will win a prize. And fortune teller of uh, Javier Baez. I just I feel bad. Uh, there are uh, there's a list of different prizes that you could possibly win. Um, wax box, I think, pack of cards of some sort. Derek Cheater. Right, you can yeah, just in any of the uh, uh, either the Twitch or the YouTube chat room will work. Unfortunately, the Breakers TV chat room uh, that's just that's, doesn't seem to work here. And I don't know why the Periscope one never seems to want to attach anymore. Uh, Luis Urias, fortune teller. But we'll get through this box, and then we will... That teller may be numbered. That is numbered, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. Indigo, fortune teller was numbered. You are correct. 152 of 250. Good call. Good call. We've got a no name for the Diamondbacks. Again, that was that last spot. People were just shying away from the Diamondbacks. And thankfully, Old Dirty Boat picked up the Diamondbacks and you got yourself a no name plate. I, I, I think what it is is that Paul Goldschmidt isn't a Diamondback anymore. He's with the Cardinals. So people that had been collecting the Diamondbacks for Paul Goldschmidt only just aren't collecting the Diamondbacks anymore. Fortune teller Aaron Judge. So the only thing right now that's really slowing you down is you're also checking the backs. Is that right? Okay. There's a JD Martinez fortune teller. Or because they have no other good players. Well, <laughs> the twins have certainly been there. Concussion protocol strikes again. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of concussion protocol, uh, <laughs> when I was a kid during recess, we were playing uh, football. And this is, of course, in the 80s. And it was, uh, there are no rules. You could. People were, people were breaking people's bones, and it was just, yeah. It was just, yeah, exactly. That was just how it was, uh, you know. I don't know if that ended in the 90s, but at least in the 80s. Uh, and I was one of the faster kids. I was small, I was light, I was speedy, and I was chasing down, uh, playing football, a guy, with the, a guy that had the ball. And uh, uh, don't ask me why I didn't see that tree coming up, but boy, did I nail that running head first. Oh my gosh. That one I did see stars for sure. And that, I was sent home and I have no doubt I suffered a concussion from that. Unreal. Yeah. I got hit in the head with a metal bat full on in the temple. Oh, ouch. Because it's too close to the bat and playing people. It was my fault. Ouch. And it's my and my banana clip. Oh. Anybody remembers? Yeah, I couldn't see for a while. I didn't get sent home. Because I was just out. I don't know. I don't think the teacher saw it. I just went down. Tarot card of Nolan Arenado. That's, ouch. I can't imagine. I, and, and I've seen people get I, hit in the head with. I blacked out. And oh, my gosh. I, was down. I don't remember but how long I was out. Maybe just a couple seconds. But, yeah, that was significant. And a metal bat makes a noise against your bone, I'll tell you. Oh, I'm sure. Tarot card of Jesus Aguilar, King of Wands. We are down to our... 
last pack of our second to last box. And, and I, was, I was small, but I was not fast. <laughs> small, but not fast. That's right. That's right. Hey, 77 pounds in fourth grade, I'll tell you. Watch out for me. Tarot card of Shohei Otani, the world. All right, so we are going to play a little game we call Call Your Shot. Do not make your guesses just yet. I will type it into the chat room when we're ready to play Call Your Shot. But here we go. Call Your Shot. Because I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first person to correctly guess the first autograph pulled out of the last box here wins a random prize. Winner must have an account at crackandwax.com. And we are going to pull up the clock, which you can't see. Uh, it is 2.53 p.m. We will give you till 2.55 p.m. to make your guesses. And go. Guesses are open. Pull up the chat room so everyone can see. All right, who do you think is going to be the first autograph we pull out of that box? Show me what time. You don't get to guess. Oh. Plus, I don't have an account. All right, so we've got a ton of guesses. Ronald Acuna, Carson Kelly, Brad Keller, Christian Stewart, Sean Newcomb, McCutcheon. Someone else guessed Stewart. <laughs> Otani. Dang it, Ross. There, now you can see the clock. There's the clock. <laughs> Like I said, you've got till 2.55, our time. All right, any more guesses? ATL's finest says Luis Urias. All right, it is 2.55 our time. Guesses are now closed. All right, it is time to open up our final box. Take down chat room. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining today, and thank you for the support. Thank you, Ross, for being our moderator today. Uh, that is a handy tool that I'll have to enforce uh, from now on, I guess. Uh, this has been really fun, and uh, I just want to thank everyone who helped us uh, raise over $500 for uh, St. Baldrick's this month. Uh, that is so awesome of you, and this has been a great year already, and it's only March. It's only March. Hey. All right. Here we go. Final box. Now that first auto could come out of this chrome pack. It's numbered to 50, so it's not a super fractor, but we've got Justin Verlander, we've got Trevor Story, and a Jose Barrios gold chrome numbered to 50 for Fixer. That's Michael S. 15 of 50. Not having a bad break. AL Central, not having a bad break at all. Here we go. You're gonna sort it. We have a indigo of Daniel Polka for the White Sox. That is 96 of 250. No name, Padres, Joey Lucchesi. Alex O gets that one. Fortune teller, Freddie Freeman.
Come on, rapper. Fortune teller Blake Snell. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Video Game Trevor May is now on the mound for the Twins. One to one, top of the seventh. Naturally, the Twins are going to have to keep beating the Indians all year long if they want to have any any chance at winning the Central. Black and white, Xander Bogarts, Red Sox. Going to Richie. Fortune teller, Aaron Nola. Why is he Mr. Video Game? Oh, he's he held a uh, Fortnite uh, night at Target Field. He's a uh, He's a well-known streamer. Oh yeah. He is. He is. Does he like to cook? I thought that was Phil Hughes. Oh, yes. Phil Hughes Phil is, is Phil's is writing a cookbook actually. Yeah. ATL's finest break says he played with them in Fortnite. I, yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. He is all over. Um, I bet our nephews probably did too. All right, Kobe Allard is our autograph. The first one we pulled. I don't think. I don't think anybody called that. Nobody called Colby Allard. But if someone had, this is what would have happened. We would have spun the wheel. Yeah. So there's our wheel, and the winner, I gotta get my uh, wheel spinner going here. Come on, application. We would have spun the wheel, and whoever won would have gotten 25 wax bucks. All right. There we go. Braves, however, going to Mad Clav Smoltz. That means we've got one autograph left. Is it gonna be a soccer rally? Are we gonna are we gonna finish with a boom? The yellow, I think, was... Let me pull that back up. The wheel... The yellow, I think, is a hundred wax bucks. Or a thousand wax bucks. Or something something big. That's the harder one to win. See, that's why doing Call Your Shot with Redemptions is a little bit easier, because there's only a few players that could it could possibly be, and it's usually going to be something big. So, But I just had to play. <laughs> I had to play. There's a logo swap. Yohan Moncada for the White Sox going to Dame Debbie. And thank you, LQ, for not saying what does the fox say. Chance Adams again. Two Chance Adams autos for Waxtopia. Now, no doubt the uh, insert is going to be bigger than this one, so uh, I won't include this as hit of the night. Um, although, if, if we hadn't pulled that insert, this would be up there. But uh, there you go, Waxtopia. That is not bad at all. Congratulations. Now, that... Uh, barring any other insert autos, that should be it for the hits. There'll be another one. LQ is calling another one. We shall see. I think John is going to be very happy. Well, he'll at least be slightly happy. 
Hey, Yvonne Rodriguez. There we go. It's a short print. The Magician tarot card, Clayton Kershaw. After this box, we will do a hit recap. Show off everything that we've pulled as far as autographs go. Fortune teller, Edwin Diaz. Now I have a feeling that we uh, might have pulled a different variation. I know we did that one, we had the one player's weekend. I think we might have pulled something else that I didn't show. Or not show, but didn't spot, I should say. All right, we are down to our penultimate pack of the day. Do we have penultimate pack mojo? Mike Trout, tarot card, thunder. Okay, final pack coming up. Aaron Judge, strength, tarot card. All right, that does it. Not a bad break. Let's do a little hit recap. Of course, we got the... Let me turn the clock off. I forgot I left that on. <laughs> All right, of course, we've got the Kikuchi. Massive, massive hit there. Going to Kim K. Kobe Allard. Jake Bowers. I think these are both, yeah, we only had the one. Bazooka back, Chance Adams. Indigo of Ryan Barucki. 88 of 150. Danny Jansen. The mini insert auto, Chance Adams. 42 of 99 for Waxtopia. Trevor Story, Indigo, 65 of 150. Whit Merrifield. Brandon Nimmo, 46 of 50, insert Fortune Teller Auto. Cesar Hernandez. Francisco Arcia. Jose Martinez. Willie Adenis. Lindor Bazooka, 19 of 25, definitely up there for hit of the night. Mike Fultonavich. Daniel Mengden, Stephen Duggar, Tori Hunter, Eddie Rosario, Max Muncy. Now we should have pulled 20 hits. I think we had 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, so we had uh, an overperforming case, and we love that. That is awesome. Folks, what did you think of this break? Vote in the poll at the top of the video here. Please comment below in the replay. Let us know what you thought the hit of the break was. Was it the Lean Door Bazooka back? Was it the Chance Adams insert? Was it the Brandon Nemo insert? Let me know. We'll decide who the hit of the night was. If you enjoyed what you were watching here, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to donate any more to St. Baldrick's, just go to streamlabs.com slash crack and wax. No breaks next week. I've got to work the final four, but the week after that, we should have a free box break and some other breaks loaded. Uh, probably going to be Diamond Kings, maybe some more uh, Inception. We'll see what else we've got going on. We could be a, It could be a surprise. Who knows? And also, uh, for you ladies... For you Lady Wax Crackers, uh, keep your eye open. We're going to be planning another Ladies' Night break. Uh, and also, uh, just in time for the National, we might be putting up some more uh, more merch. Maybe some 150-point uh, shirts. Maybe some uh, event-used tablecloth shirts. Maybe some brand-new Crack and Wax branded shirts. You never know. But uh, 
Uh, otherwise, we're just going to sit back and sort, watch the rest of this Twins game. What do you got, like two Marlins cards in that stack? That is really weird. That is really weird. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for helping us raise over $500 for St. Baldrick's. That was amazing. Uh, we, couldn't do, we couldn't do this without you. Anything else, LQ? LQ says thank you, everybody. All right, everybody. Until next time, keep cracking that wax.